I want to take you through a little exercise of the imagination that will help understand and distinguish different kinds of knots. So we're going to be begin with the most ordinary knot of all, the unknot. Here's a here's a unknot in the form of a, um, a loop of tubing, but what you may not realize right away is that this tubing has magical properties. It creates a singularity in the fabric of the universe. And, and what it does is that as you, if you look through the tubing, the universe you see through the tubing gradually drifts away from the universe on this side of the tubing. Um, and over many years, its properties and its occupants change a lot. That world through the tubing is called Narnia. Um, I can step through this magical loop, it's, it's, it's like a doorway, into another world, the world Narnia. Here we are in Narnia. We've been exploring, we've had lots of adventures and seen many unusual and interesting sights, but um, we've arrived finally back at, the, um, at this coil, this unknotted coil, and when we look through it again, we see Earth. I'm kind of tired of being in Narnia, so I'm going to step through the coil and I'm back in Earth again. So this tubing creates a two-way branching in the universe. When I go through it once, I, I go from Earth to Narnia. If I go through it again, I go from Narnia back to Earth. I can keep going as many times as I want, from Earth to Narnia. And it doesn't matter which direction I go through. I went from Earth to Narnia. Here I'm in Narnia, and I can step back out, and I'm in Earth again, and so forth. This is the property of the tubing. But the tubing doesn't have to be just arranged as an ordinary kind of unknotted door. What happens if you knot the tubing? Will it create the same kind of split in the universe, or will it create a different kind of split? Well, let's try and find out. Okay, here I've arranged the magical tubing in a different pattern, in the shape of a knot. So what you see now that the knot has created is four windows to other possible worlds. There's a window at the bottom, there's a window in the middle, there's a window at your upper right, and a window at your upper left. And these all possibly go to different universes. If we were to pass through, the, through one of the windows to one of the other universes, we could go around and look further, and we'd still perhaps different, or perhaps some of the same universes again. Just remember that when you, whenever you go twice around the knot, you get back where you started, twice around a little, a little strand of the knot. Here's a diagram of the four windows created by the knot. And I've labeled two of them, A and B. I haven't labeled the other two. That's deliberate. That's for a reason. Because as you'll see, you can achieve the same effect as going through the middle by first going through A and then going through B. Let me show you how that works. Take a piece of rope, first put it through A, and now put it through B, and it's the same effect as going through the middle. So I'm justified in saying that the middle is A, B. Well, once we know how to achieve the effect of going through the middle portal by, by A's and B's, we can also figure out a way to go through this upper right portal. And the reason is um, we can go through the middle and then back through A, and it'll be the same effect as going through the middle. But remember, when you go through A forwards or backwards, it's, it's always the same since the knot is creating only an order two branching, a twofold branching. Let's try it with rope and find out. So I'm going to go through the middle and back through A. 
and it's the same as going through this upper right portal. And I'll write this equation. So, so I found that I can get here by going through A, through B, and through A again, because A, B goes through the middle, and I'm really coming back through A, but I'm counting it the same as going forward through A. Well, I can also use this little region of the knot here to find an alternate route to get through the upper left. Namely, I can come, I can come back through B and then down through AB, and that'll be the same as going through, um, through the middle. So I'm going to just write it back through B. That's a B, and then through AB. And I get, I achieve the same effect. So I have an equation that BAB equals ABA. I get to the same place by first doing B, then A, then B, as I do by doing A and B and A. With this information, we can easily draw a diagram of all the possible worlds we get to through the trefoil knot. Here's our home world. From our home, we can start out by going A, or we can start out by going B. Once we're here, if we go through A again, we'll get back home. But if we go through B, we'll get to a, another world. This is the same one you get by going through the window in the middle. Um, from, from here, once you've done B, you can do A again, and you get to a different place. Now, if we continue, from here, if we do B, we'll get back to where we were before. But if we do an A, we're at a different place. And here, if we do A, we're back to where we were before. But if we do B, we're at a still different place. And here I have that A, B, A equals B, A, B. So the trefoil knot with this two-way branching around it creates six different worlds. It creates a diagram like so. You notice that um, the passageway through this upper right, this upper right passageway would be really going like so. If you, if you go A, B, A, and if you do it again, A, B, A again, you get back to where you started. So, so that's that effect. If you're over here, and you do A, B, A, you get to here. Do it again, you get back again. From here, A, B, A, it takes you to here and back again. So that, that's this upper right. It's interesting to look at the middle passageway, what happens here. It's a little bit different. So far, all the passageways we've thought about very hard have um, taken you to a different world. If you go through again, you get back to the same world. And that's because they were just going around a little piece of the knot. But AB, the AB door is a little different. If you start here, and if you do AB, you get to this corner of the hexagon. If you do AB again, you get to this corner of the hexagon. And if you do AB again, you get to back home. So the trefoil knot has forced this pattern on us. Going to the middle doorway, you have to go through three times to get back home. Any knot you have will create some form of a branching universe. And you can often use this to distinguish between different knots. We know the truffle knot is not an, the unknot. It's really knotted because it creates a different branching pattern in the universe.